Hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is London Breed. I am the mayor of the city and county of San Francisco, and I'm happy to be here today for a really important announcement. Thank you all so much for joining us. Today, we are announcing additional funding to fight unlawful evictions and prevent displacement of tenants in San Francisco. Many of you know I've been a renter all my life, and I personally know what it feels like to face housing insecurity. In fact, a couple of years ago, when I was on the Board of Supervisors, my building was sold, and I didn't know what would happen to me and the other folks who lived in the building. We know that one of the best ways to prevent homelessness is to make sure that we keep people housed in the first place. Some of us may be familiar with the fact that almost 70% of the people who sadly live on our streets that are homeless were actually housed in San Francisco before they became homeless. That's why, as president of the Board of Supervisors, I pushed hard to establish the right to counsel so that people don't have to face eviction alone. And we did not go through the process of that particular legislation since we know that Proposition F was put on the ballot and it was overwhelmingly passed by voters. And although we know Proposition F did not have a funding source attached to it, I as mayor have made a commitment that we would fund that that we would fund that and people would not have to face eviction alone. The reality is our housing shortage is driving up the prices of citizens across the city, which can incentivize evictions. In the, you know what's really unfortunate about this situation is we're all fighting for the same thing. And today, what I want to announce is that we are providing $5.8 million here in the city and county of San Francisco for right to counsel for residents facing eviction. In the vast majority of these proceedings, landlords have re legal reasons and representation and tenants do not. We know sadly that most tenants can't afford a lawyer and don't know where to go in the first place when they are served with an eviction notice from their landlord. And as a result, too many San Franciscans face eviction without knowing what their full rights are. It's not a housing policy that we want to advance in the city. And currently, the Mayor's Office of Community Development spends over $7.5 million annually on eviction protection, tenant outreach and education, and short-term rental assistance. But these programs do not provide the full level of scope of representation that so many people need to stay in their homes. And as I said earlier today, I'm so proud to announce that we are investing $5.8 million to fund this program over the next two years to support legal representation for tenants facing eviction. One of the first things that I did as mayor was to work to rebalance our budget to include funding for this very important program. Starting in June of 2019, tenants will now have access to full scope legal representation and be better able to prevent evictions and stay in their home. We are the first city in California and the second in the nation to institute a right to civil counsel for tenants. And as we work to create more housing and increase affordability for all of our residents and invest in critical tools to prevent displacement, we have to make sure that we're paying attention to everything that's going on and making the right investments. I want to thank the Board of Supervisors for their collaboration in securing this funding. And even though he is not able to attend today, I want to recognize Assemblymember David Chu, who created the pilot program for legal counsel for San Franciscans in civil proceedings in 2011, when he was a member of the Board of Supervisors, and I appreciate his advocacy on this, on this effort over the years. 
I want to thank many of the legal service organizations who are with us here today and will assist us in developing and implementing this very important program. And so now with that, I'd like to turn it over to the District 5 supervisor, someone who's been on the front lines and an advocate for residents of District 5 for so many years. Ladies and gentlemen, District 5 Supervisor, Valley Brown. Thank you and good morning. I'm Valley Brown, I'm Supervisor of District 5. Today is a good day for renters and the city. In June, of this year, the voters of San Francisco asked and received right to legal counsel when fighting evictions. A simple mem member, Chu, introduced the idea when he was on the Board of Supervisors, and today we celebrate this work put in place for the funding and the funding, which is an absolutely important tool. Thank you to the hard work and strong partnership between the Mayor and the Board of Supervisors we were able to fund this in less than two months. Funding is very important. It's important that we have a great stride to protect renters facing eviction. With the recent past budget, we now have the necessary resources to fund eviction defense for the residents of San Francisco. Thank you, Mayor Breed, for working with the Board of Supervisors to ensure this critical first step in its funding. Going forward, I would li I w I'm planning on working with my colleagues and the, on the Board of Supervisors and Mayor Breed to invest in programs that will help people stay in their homes and create more opportunities for affordable home ownership so the need for eviction defense becomes a last resort. When we look at funding for rental subsidies programs that help working families and low-income residents, keeping roof over their heads. Existing programs and partnerships are helping folks, but we must explore expansion funding and strengthening of existing rental subsidy programs while also looking for new opportunities to help San, Francisco, San Franciscans stay in their homes. So the next speaker we have here today, the executive director from Eviction Defense Collaborative, Martina. Are you here? Yes, thank you. Good morning. My name is Martina Kukuju Lim, and I am the Executive Director of Eviction Defense Collaborative. On behalf of San Francisco tenants and those who provide them eviction defense services, we thank the mayor for prioritizing keeping people in their homes. We also thank the collective advocacy of the homeless emergency services providers for their tireless efforts in securing these funds. We also thank San Francisco Tenants Union and Tenants Together for their work surrounding Prop F, and most importantly, the voters of San Francisco who ensured that Prop F became the, became the law of the land. We are pleased the mayor is acting diligently to provide an immediate influx of $1.9 million to help keep San Francisco tenants in their homes. We have been seeing the devastating impact the housing crisis is having in our communities for years, and we as a community have been failing to keep people in their homes. We know that evictions have been rising at a dramatic rate over the past five years. We know that landlords have been represented by attorneys at a rate of six to one compared to tenants. We know that having an attorney increases a family's chance of being evicted by over 70%. We know that being evicted from your home in San Francisco means being evicted from San Francisco. Our friends, our families, and our neighbors are being pushed out of this city. We also know that protecting tenancies preserves affordable housing. Unfortunately, the United States of today is a place where how much money you have dictates your access to basic human rights, including your right to a home. San Francisco residents are saying no more. They are saying, this is our city, these are our homes, and we will defend our rights. And with these funds, And with these funds, Mayor Breed is pushing this agenda forward. She is stepping up as a leader for this movement. She is acknowledging that housing is a human right, and she is committing to leveling the playing field for this city's tenants. This combined $5.8 million is a start, and while we have a ways to go, 
I know that I speak on behalf of all of the community tenant services providers when I say that we are excited to work with the mayor and city staff. We are ready and we are up for the task of bringing tenant right to council to San Francisco. Thank you. I'd like to now, I'd like to now introduce Tom Drohan, supervising attorney for legal assistance to the elderly. Morning, everybody. I'm Tom Drow, and I work at Legal Assistance to the Elderly, uh, one of the many community organizations that provide direct, boots on the ground, full scope legal representation for tenants in San Francisco. Legal Assistance to the Elderly has been providing free legal services for San Franciscans seniors for nearly 40 years. We help seniors who are victims of elder abuse. We help seniors with their social security benefits. We help seniors preserve their, their health care. We help seniors with debt relief. But San Francisco's current severe housing crisis, now over 60% of our calls are seniors calling for help because they're in distress because they've received eviction notices. Each year, re we receive hundreds of calls from desperate seniors threatened with eviction. Many of these seniors are low income, long-term tenants paying low, below market rents, and they're falsely accused of minor lease infractions or wholly made up alleged nuisances. For them, having an attorney represent them in court is the difference between keeping their home or being on the street. I've worked at LAE for over 25 years. For a long time, I was the only housing attorney there. And the hard hardest part of my job was telling a desperate senior that I couldn't take their case because I was already lo overloaded with too many cases. With this increased funding from the city, the number of cases we have, are able to take has increased greatly, but there's still a need. No one, and especially not our city's most vulnerable citizens, should lose their home because they can't afford a lawyer. When we take, <clears throat> when we take a case at legal assistance to the elderly, like all of these tenant organizations up here, we take it to win. We aggressively litigate eviction cases on behalf of our clients. We take cases to trial, and we win. This year, we won a trial where the landlord was trying to evict our client because other members of the family were involved in an act of domestic abuse. We won another trial this year where a major landlord in San Francisco was alleging that the rent ordinance that we have to protect our ten tenants did not apply to them. We won that case for that tenant and also for all the other long-term seniors in that housing. We have a long history of fighting for our clients and keeping them in our homes. This additional funding means legal, legal assistance to the elderly and all the other tenant organizations here can help many more seniors and others keep their homes in San Francisco. I'd like now to introduce to you a senior who we just recently helped uh, fight her wrongful eviction and who has kept her home and is here to tell you about it. Ms. Wong? Thank you and good morning to everybody. My name is Virginia Florendo Wong. I came from the Philippines in 1983 and I have lived in that place, in that apartment where I am now. My husband has been there living since uh, 1974. I have always paid my rent. Then all of a sudden, there was a problem. I didn't understand why the, la why the landlord said I owed money. I was afraid I was uh, going to lose that small place that I am staying. So, um, and that means I would be leaving my s small place, I would be leaving my friends, I would be leaving my church, and my doctors, and my friends in the community. Then I met attorney Anthony Burchell, Tony Burchell, at the legal assistance for the elderly. He said he would help me 
I felt my darkness became lighter. In the end, it turned out the landlord was wrong in the calculations and my attorney got the case, the case dismissed. I was so relieved when I heard this and at that point, it meant that I was going to be able to stay at home. It's my place. And I'm thankful for the, le uh, for the legal assistance that uh, helped me. And uh, uh, why do we have to, uh, to choose people who will live in San Francisco? For after all, this is San Francisco, the name of the saint who was so poor but help, who was so rich and became poor to help everybody. Thank you. Again, thank you in San Francisco. Only in San Francisco, gotta love San Francisco, only in San Francisco can you do something like provide $5.8 million for right to counsel to tenants facing eviction and have protesters. Thank you guys for being here today.